Hello and welcome to a new video about Internet of Things. This time we're also going to combine Vuforia and Thingworks. We will need data or we'll again use data of Thingworks, but this time we're going to animate things. We still are working at our class project. So let's open. Let's open the according project and oh, I already need to enter the, the username and password. Why is that? Because now in the project I do have the, the information or the, the Thingworks instance and it immediately wants to connect the Thingworks index in, instance. You see, on the right hand side there is this class thing and so on. Yeah? So I already need to enter username and password. Okay, this is necessary. Connect, seems to be satisfied, great. The good thing is after I press publish I don't have to enter. So it's not really more work, just in another point. So we are switching to the class. Okay, here's the class. This was our augmentation. We displayed the, the temperature of the class. Okay. Now we want to do is move in here a level yeah, that we should measure the class level. Yeah. And we are moving now a blue cylinder. I've also drawn a blue cylinder, and this blue cylinder should get, uh, go up and down according according the level. Yeah. So I will simply add those files. So there is water. I will add a model. I will use there the water. What's this? Looks strange. Get rid of it. What's this? Really, what's this? Yeah. Switch to windmill. Switch to glass. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Yeah. Water. Here it is. Now zero. X zero. Yeah. And here we have it. Yeah. This is how it shall look like. Yeah? And if we are changing the y coordinate, minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.05, you see, it shall be animated. Yeah? So the glass should look half full. Mm -hmm. this, would be, this would be nice. This is what we expect to do. Uh, now, I have to change the y coordinate. So I need to use a value which is representing the y coordinate. However, right now at the uh, configuration, no parameter. Get property value, class temp, right. There's only the class temperature. So I need to have in my property list something which is can be directly bound to the to the model. Huh? To this model. I will call this model water. Huh? And I want to bind this to the y coordinate. So if we switch, if we switch to Vuforia, uh, to Thingworks, sorry, Thingworks instance, oh, all those names, to Thingworks instance, we are going to add, and we add class level disp for display. Yeah? And this shall be a number, yeah? and the units is meters this time. Yeah? 
shall be persistent and it shall also be locked. Yeah? Save. Now I have this new, this new level. Yeah? When we switch back to Vuforia, just have to update. Oh, I should have saved it. Should have sa saved it here. Yeah? Yes. Save it. Save successfully. Yeah? Now if I update here, oh, class level display. It is here. Yeah? So I'm going to bind this to my water and to the Y coordinate. Okay. Now let's try preview. Saves. Preview. Set preview. Yes. Okay. 21.11. Yeah. Display. Is this working? Touching. Uh, 25. So I'm getting live data. However, I'm right now. I do not feel life that this will be moved to new to new window. We will place it here and this will place here. Okay. Now we're switching to properties and now let's zoom in here a little bit. Yes. And now we'll change the value here to minus 0 0.2. Uh, back. Move it a little bit further. Here, back, minus, ooh, look, zero to two, boot. <laughs> it's much too far. Of course, it's now 20 centimeters, eh? move to the ground 20 centimeters. So I will also again change it to zero to back. Aha, uh -huh. look. However, what I don't like, here at the, at the top, it looks nice, right? The top it looks nice, but here this blue water is simply shifted to, shifted to the ground, into the ground. This shall not happen. Yeah? I need to take care that the blue water is cut off here somehow. Yeah? Okay, so this is not entirely the right thing. Yeah? There is a model which can be used to hide other models. Yeah? I, will, I will show you. Yeah? I called it a razor, the radira. Yeah? So I will add a model again, model widget. And I will use the razor. Yeah? This is just with this now water again, now with the razor. This just looks like the water. Okay. I will again put it to zero. Zero. However, I can tell you it's slightly thicker. Really slightly. That it's a little bit more diameter than the water. The water can slide inside this. Yeah? And I will move it down. To minus zero dot one. Yeah. Here we are. How does this look like? Not very convenient. Right. Yeah. And this I will call model erasure. Yeah. Erasure. And I will do it eliminating for second. Yeah, I don't know that that what is the English what is written if I switch to English. Ah, for second. Yeah, and it shall not be visible. Okay, it shall not be visible. Now it's white. This is whenever I. I select it as removing or for decant. Yeah? This means what, whatever is inside this element will not be displayed. 
Yeah? It is hiding. Yeah? Let's see if this viewable. I'll remove this. Let's watch. Let's watch the preview. Mm -hmm. How does it look like now? Okay, no, it still looks like it goes to the ground. So I will also use visible yeah, preview. Right, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Now it is erasing the blue thing and the white is still there. Huh? White is still there. Yeah. However, this you will see then in reality, it does not really matter. Yeah? What is happening there? The blue, the water cylinder is now hiding inside the white cylinder. And the white cylinder will later will later not be visible. Yeah? We will try this. Yeah? So in preview, this looks now pretty nice, right? So let's oh, again move this to a new window. Yeah? Move it to the, uh, this one. Yeah. Change this param parameter 0 0.01. Check. Pack. See? Now it looks like the glass is filling. There is this white bottom. Okay. Yeah. And I um, tell you, this white bottom will not be there when we watch it in real. So, what, what we want to do now is that we don't have to enter the class level display here. Yeah? We want the class level display come directly live from our from our thingy here. Okay, this would be nice, right? So, what we can do about this? Open the program, call this class level display, yeah? and We will not copy the level. Yeah? If it's 25 centimeters, I want to have it, or I will simply, if it's 10 centimeters, it shall be full. Yeah? If it's below 10 centimeters, yeah? it shall be less. Yeah? So, and it shall be minus. So, this minus. 10 centimeters. This is what I want to display. Then I need it in meters multiplied by, no, divided by 100. Okay. Now it's in meters, 10 centimeters apart. And uh, I do not want to get this over 10 centimeters. Yeah? So there is a minimum value I want to have between 0 0.1, no, 0, and this is what I calculated here. This should do the trick, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully this should do the trick. So I will upload this now to my system here. Yeah. Let's see what the serial monitor tells us. Ready? Level? Okay. 11 centimeters. Okay, it seems like something is measured. Yeah. Let's switch to Vuforia. Yeah. Refresh. Class level this, it, it, it seems not to reach here. Why is that? Why is that class level this? Oh, the threshold, of course, the threshold is much too. I want to have this threshold at least 
5 mm. Oh, oh, oh. Two digits is okay. Threshold 5 mm. Now, now it should look different. Now it should look different. Let's watch it here. Yeah, refresh zero. What do we measure for level? 9.3 minus 10 should be minus 2 and this is the minimum should be okay refresh ah look 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 there is data Okay, seems like, like I have an issue with reflection. Maybe I'll, I'll use the ruler. Okay, doesn't look too bad. How is the preview working? How is the preview working? It is changing the level. Come closer. Ooh. Not working perfect. Not working perfect. Yeah. Let's see what our level is indicating. 0 0.5, 0 0.9. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's just it's just jumping to another value. Still, I think you have some issues. I will use this tissue box. I will use this tissue box uh, as a reflector. Okay. Maybe. Correct this alignment a little bit. Okay, okay, now, okay, now I think it looks like pretty smooth. Ooh, minus whatever. Yeah. How does this look like now? Eight centimeters. Yes, yes. Further away. <laughs> yes, further away. You see? The level is changing. The level is changing. Live data. Now I feel it again. Okay. In preview, in preview it seems to work pretty well. Now I'm eager to know how it looks like on my mobile phone. Huh? So I will start up my mobile phone and check how it looks like. I will publish this here. Published. Okay. So this means we're good to go. Good to go. So let's start the mobile. So I'm starting the Euphoria View app now. Should get Camera. Yes, here it is. So scan the thing mark. Yes, this is the experience I want to have. Yeah. Now place it somewhere nice. Move it a little bit around that it recognizes this is a flat. Oh, there is it. Back, place it. Okay, so there we have it. It is filled. Is a temperature. Is temperature still reacting? Try, touch it. Yes, temperature is reacting. And now, see, here is the tissue box. Here is the level measurement. 
If I'm moving a little bit closer, we should, we should see the level changing. Yes. Yes. Still a little bit closer. No. The level is approaching now the sensor. So this means the glass is filling. <laughs> Isn't it? I mean, here is the measurement. Here is the measurement. And here, this is the augmented glass behind. And if I move the tissue box in here, yeah, a little bit further away, so I drink now. Ooh, I see the level dropped in the glass. <laughs> augmented reality. We have here the full experience. Full experience. Measuring values, processing values with our Arduino, sending values in the Internet of Things server, get data from the Internet of Things server and influence an augmented experience, an augmented reality with this. You see, this is, I mean, it's live. It's live data. It's live performance. Great. Great. So imagine walking with your mobile phone or walking with your HoloLens through your plant and, and look at, at pressurized tanks or whatever and see exactly how big or how far are they filled. Yeah? Look at pipes, see what pressure is inside because you have live data there in your scope. I mean, oh, it's a little bit too full, maybe. Go away. And it really looks pretty convenient. Huh? Or convincing, even convincing. Huh? <sighs> I think I have a cold glass of water now. I'm thirsty. Cannot grab this one, so I grab another one. You know, it's a, for sure not everything you can learn about augmented reality and Internet of Things and so on. However, I think it's enough for a starting point for you if you want or if you have to dig in a little bit deeper. It's an interesting field, a very interesting field. You see, even with not that much effort, there are things appearing which do look really ni pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. If you have a little bit more questions or uh, go a little bit beyond this, what I've shown you, uh, then just ask me. I will try to help. Yeah. For now, there's nothing left to see. For me <laughs> to see, there's nothing left to see. No, no, no. There's nothing left for me than just to say thank you very much, very much for listening. Goodbye. You feel? I'm really thirsty. Yeah? Really have to grab now something to drink. Goodbye. <laughs>